and we're getting close to doing that. We're one minute to the five. The lid is down on Andrew Tate. Buckle up, Tri-Cities. Here we go. It's final heat time. And a special thanks to Hapo for making it happen. The official sponsor of Hum Summer is Hapo Community Credit Union. Hapo.org, the website. And the Hapo Columbia Cup on the line as we get ready to count it down and send the boats out on the river for the Hapo Columbia Cup finale. Kevin Rounds over in Tire Factory, turn number two. I'm waiting for this. We'll have the best view in the house. I'm waiting for this to happen. Brad's got me hyped now. Yeah, but be oh, careful. Awesome. You might need to use protection for your eyes with that Oberto when the sun oh. glints off the metallic paint. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, we are now at 18 seconds to the five-minute mark. The, the current is starting to drift. The nose is out toward the middle. Tri-Cities, here it is. Our festival of summer is coming to a pinnacle with the final heat of the Hapo Columbia Cup Four. Three, two, one, mark. Five minutes. And All the right. first boat to move away from the dock is going to be Brian Perkins in the U-21. Daryl Strong presents Payne West Insurance. He's going to be followed by Tom Thompson in the Reliable Diamond Tool presents J&D. Those two are out. Here comes Jimmy Shane in the Home Street Blue. Next boat away from the dock is Cal Phipps driving the Alberto, and right behind him is going to be the orange of Dustin Eccles in 440 Racing. Final heat time. They're all coming over your way, Kevin. They didn't come out all together. They came out kind of one at a time. But either way, it's still a good sight. Now, Andrew Tate is still sitting at the dock. So is Kelly. Here comes Kelly. Kelly is starting to move. Tate has not yet moved. Yeah, I don't see anything coming up. Say whatever you want to go. I think he's trying to get it fired up. Now, he's okay. It's there Tate that hasn't moved. But Tate is just now starting to get the nose of the boat pushed out. Kind of late to the party. Plenty of time in a five-minute milling. Oh, yeah. Period. So, coming up the back stretch. Hey, Brad. The Andrew. Mr. Julio. Brad, could this be part of uh, Tate's strategy? Because remember, in their uh, fourth heat, he took that odd direction into the track where he went in front of like the GP and the five liter and then took that hard turn in. Is, and he's doing it again right now. Yeah, he is. He's coming up by us to give us a look. They were not thrashing by any stretch of the imagination to come out. And there's a big cheer that goes up here in the sideline. They fi finally see Andrew come out and join the show. Jimmy Shane has cut through the Esco Electric infield at the front stretch from the back stretch. Coming off of turn number four, Buffalo Brothers is the 11 reliable diamond tool, J and D's with Tom Thompson. Andrew just entered the course down there uh, exiting turn one. With the Les Schwab nine. He's just getting out of the course, and Perkins is just coming out right in behind him, so he's already got a lap in here. Three minutes, three minutes. Way around from right there, he's going to be early. Al Phipps, you see Tom Thompson in the 11, parking in lane number one. The next boat. Oh. Oh. Six rooster tails, Perkins. Going to be behind him. Well, it's all about timing. It's all about position on the course. Tom Thompson comes down to the lower end here. He has followed in here by Phipps. <laughs> Cal Phipps in the 1918 Alberto coming into Tire Factory Tour 2. Dustin Nichols flying around the outside. But Tom Thompson again hugging the buoy line right here. The, but the Phipps, the 1918 and the Alberto with that beautiful retro paint scheme. 11 right there. That's the 440 in front of you on the outside. Pick it up. Up the top end of the course. Just into you pull it auto parts. Turn number four is the one. Jimmy Shane. Just out of the Buffalo Brothers, turn number four onto the front stretch, the nine with Andrew Tate. Two minutes, two minutes. Two minutes to the start. We did have a puff of smoke. Seven to cut the course. Came down the front stretch, and I want to say that that was J. Michael Kelly. He will be the trailer in the Graham Trucking who's coming. Hey, someone's got to get on there about that. Andrew Tate is in lane number one as they come down the front stretch. Glenn. You know, Kevin was pointing out that Old Glory is actually starting to furl out on the Blue Bridge. Yep. First time this entire weekend I've actually seen it flapping. So the breeze, while it's not a gale force by any stretch of the imagination, has definitely picked up in the last 10 to 15 minutes. It's Andrew different. Tate came down the front straightaway. He was in lane number one. Then he swerved sharply to the right and moved out to about lane three. Then he swerved back to the left. Under nine, warning under nine. On a bit of a strange maneuver. Keep an eye, Kevin, on on Jimmy Shane. Where is he going to poke the blue? He's got, he's got nowhere to go. He's got nowhere to go. The 21's on the inside. Where's Jimmy? The nine is in he's 
on the inside way back. They're probably going to let him in there. Don't get too far out. But Shane might get in between the 9 and the 11 and take lane 3, followed by uh, the, the Alberto outside of... One, it looks like, but I don't know he's going to have a lane up here. He's trying to get in lane 1 inside the 11 and 41, but I don't... Same thing, I don't know if he's going to get there. Well, he's got to declare pretty quick. They're running out of real estate. Whatever lane they're in, when they hit the entrance pin to the corner, that's the one they've got to hold. So to the top end of the course, and look at going off plane, it's the 11. 30. Tom Thompson has lost power on the back stretch in the reliable diamond tool JDs. He's trying to get it back up, trying to get it relit. For now, he is not going to make the start finish line at the start of the Hapo Columbia Cup. That is unfortunate. That boat has been Pat. just perfect. So you've got Perkins in lane number one, Tate in lane number two, Shane four, in lane number three, three Phipps two, in four, one, Mark. And then in lane number five, it's Eccles. And the trailer boat is J. Michael Kelly. Down the front stretch is Shane and Tate leading the way. And boy, are they close together when they come down here. It is going to be Jimmy Shane get down here first. But he's in lane number three. Kevin, you got the view. Oh, the Dine has a lot of air under that boat as he's barely keeping it on the water. They are three wide, deck to deck to deck, coming out. Get him floating. Get him floating. Watch your lights. Get him floating. Right down the back. Top end of the course. Good news. Tom Thompson has Slow boat in front of you at the turn. You got a slow boat in front of you. Down the back stretch. Look at that race. Deck to deck. Wow, that is incredible. Tate on the inside, just edging Jimmy Shane as they head up into turn number three. You pull it auto parts as Perkins has fallen back a ways. Top end of the course, diving into turn number three, into turn number four. It's Tate with the lead with the shorter course. Shane has moved out a little bit wide, hit some rough. Good start, good start. It is a good start. Stretch to complete lap number one. It's going to be Tate on the inside, leading by a half a rooster tail. One with a possible penalty. It's fourth place is Pips. Down the front stretch, Shane is really flying and trying to catch Tate. But look under the air of the nine. Wow, Andrew Tate's riding it out of the water. Kevin, they're coming to you. Remember, fans, we go five times around. Absolutely. Tate looking sharp, but they're actually having to deal with the 11 and some of the weight being left by Tom Thompson who's now not even a half a backstretch or a lead on the nine as he tries to be at the tail end of the field. But uh, Jimmy Shane now has a challenger, Brian Perkins down. I got the 11 coming up. Now Andrew Tate has a two rooster tail lead over Jimmy Shane. You got Jimmy Shane in second place. Third place is going to be... You got four bow lengths on Brian. One, Daryl Strong presents Payne West Insurance. Inside the... Swing is stuck again. Back and he'll have the short course around the top end in lane number one. Tate coming off of turn number four. Buffalo Brothers in the lead, completing lap number two in our five lap finale. Shane is in second place, but he's two rooster tails back. On the inside of Shane, you can see a half a rooster tail back is Perkins in the 21. And Perkins is trying to challenge Jimmy Shane for second place. And look at Cal Pips on the outside in the Alberto coming up in fourth. We got the 11 going through the corner down here. Appears to be in first place, but he's not. He's behind everybody. Great race for second. Keep an eye on it, Kevin. Absolutely, Perkins flying through Tire Factory, turn two in lane one. Shane, boy, he had it right at the back end of the boat of the one it was the 20. Got three boat legs. Keep on it, keep on it. Distance here as they go down the back, the Alberto right on their tails. Need to tell you, we do have a blue flag with a yellow stripe out. That means something will be under review at the end of this race. Top end of the course, it's a good run for Andrew Tate. As you see, he's passing the 11 with Tom Thompson at the top end of the course. Up we got it, turn two. At the beginning of the race, had to get relit and lost all kinds of time, so he's way out of position now. Oh, walking it back and forth with air under the spot. Three roots, four roots, tails on him. For Tate in the night, coming down. But out of the holes and away from the buoy to watch the light. Actually challenging on the outside, but again, he's a lap down. Here comes Andrew Tate. Boy, this is all his right now. He's shown some incredible speed. He's at the apex of the corner, coming to Kevin. Watch this hole. On this road. Get everywhere. Absolutely. As they get down here into the slop, Shane and Perkins having to deal with two boats worth of water. Oh, Shane gets out of the water with that left sponsor before he gets it back down. He's got a rooster tail on the 21, heading down the back stretch. All right, the back stretch right now, it's Andrew Tate in the nine, Les Schwab tire, heading into Eupolet Auto Parts turn number three, and about a half 
way back of the back stretch you'll find Jimmy Shane that's how far that lead has stretched now for Tate in the Les Schwab nine Tate at the exit pin Buffalo Brothers turn number four now coming down the front stretch Jimmy Shane is in turn four and will come out of the exit pin now there's just too much real estate and Andrew Tate has run a perfect finale here for the Hapo Columbia Club the white flag is now out Final lap for Andrew Tate to claim the Hapo Columbia Cup 2018. Yeah, he's coming through the corner. We'll call him around the race course. As for the blue flag that Michael referred to, it is the equivalent of a penalty marker. We've got to wait and see what the call is. Kevin, send our leader down the back chute. Absolutely, Andrew Tate now with nobody in front of him after having passed 11. Clean water all the way down the back stretch. Jimmy Shea now with a two rooster tail lead for second place over the 21. As uh, the 21 now maybe has a little bit of a challenge from the Alberto, who's gaining now down just a little more than a rooster tail headed down the back. All right, you pull it out of parts, turn number three, and a Buffalo turn number four, and the Buffalo Brothers party people on the circuit having a great time watching Andrew Tate swing out a little bit wide at the exit pin onto the front stretch with the checkered flag out. And Tate bouncing off some wake was way outside and got way out of shape, but he's gonna claim the title and the checkered flag for the 2018 Hapo Columbia Cup. Checkered flag for the one, but there's a possible penalty. There's a possible penalty. Ryan Perkins holding on for a third place finish, even though Cal Phipps, who will finish in fourth, was giving him quite a challenge on that final lap. And a fifth place finish will be J. Michael Kelly. The nine went under 80 about four times to get ahead of Eccles, and Eccles has fallen back. He is a lap behind, so that... And I don't know how all of them didn't jump. I'm standing here running the start-finish line. Out, that means a review, and that means something could change as we wait to hear from the officials. All right, guys, something happened here on the... One in the nine, one in the 11. Yep, the one took the nine, uh, one took the 11 thing, and I held on him. He almost went over me. Now, he's still on the course. There are a couple boats that still need to finish the race. One, the 11, hits up at the Buffalo Brothers turn four, and the 440, which is coming through Tire Factory turn two. Brian Perkins remaining out there. Not sure why he's still out there, but uh, we'll see. Maybe it has something to do with that blue flag. Yep, and we will only know when they decide to tell us. So Tom Thompson comes across and takes his checkered flag. You know, I... I guess he went off plane for quite some time and lost power. You get a warning and you have a certain amount of time to get back up on plane, Brad. Sorry, I just met my private chauffeur. I am on my way. Okay, wonderful. But uh, being off plane, could the penalty be on, on Thompson? Yeah, I, boy, I don't know on that. I didn't see anything. The lanes were tight coming down to the first turn. I mean, there was not a lot of wide lane space there, but it looked like everybody got through fairly clean. So, but maybe not. Well, so, and you've got the damage to Perkins' boat. Yeah, I'm not sure when that happened. I did plane on U11 prior to the start at the uh, commitment buoy. U21, one minute penalty, hitting and dislodging a buoy, turn two. Now to where Andrew Tate will be pulling in. Kevin, maybe I'll throw it back over to you when uh, when you saw the boats come around the lower corner on lap one, were, was everybody holding their lane? Were they clean? It sure looked like it here. I didn't see much. I mean, it was the oh, usual no. people trying to make sure they were, <laughs> where, where, where you could get six feet, you'll take five feet, 11 inches uh, yeah, and it. a half. <laughs> but uh, another that Thank looks you. like it was penalty worthy, but uh, uh, I, yeah, we'll see. I, Jimmy Shane. Thanks a lot, guys. Good job down there. Any word on that blue flag, Michael? And don't tell me it's blue? No, we don't have any word. Okay. No well, word we'll just yet, that. but we'll head upstairs. You got it down there for a little bit? Yeah, I've All got right. it down here with some young man by the name of Andrew Tate. He's got a pretty good smile on his face right now, although that was the first he'd heard of a blue flag. He just, he just wants to make sure it wasn't on him. So, walk me through the start and through turn one, because it looked like you guys were getting really close. Yeah, uh, anytime you drive next to Jimmy, you know, we're only going to leave each other enough. And he, he probably was a little more than generous, and then, uh, I had a little bit of a respect move there. I appreciate it a lot, but we came off the corner neck and neck and ended up getting down to turn two first. So uh, after that, he was, he was always there, but that's when you can breathe a little easier, you know? 
it seemed like when you got down here to the lower corner on lap two, he fell back, and it just from then it was over. It was just a matter of finding clean water and running the boat clean. It's hard to find clean water out there in the Columbia River when you got six unlimited hydroplanes. But uh, yeah, the Lunch Schwab boat ran great. Couldn't do this without those guys, and uh, couldn't be happier for the Jones and Campbells and the rest of the crew. They worked their butts off this year and, and the years previous, so this is one we didn't have, and we're, we're happy to bring it home. Yeah, this is this is a fun one to win. I know you're from back east, but uh, for those of us out in the west, this is one of the jewels to win. As you said, you haven't won it before. I'm going to introduce you to a great big tree down there. It's got just a carload of shade that next summer you get the park underneath, and that's a plus. Yeah, everyone on the crew, the whole team works their butts off, and I'm sure they'll appreciate it more than me. I'm un <laughs> unfortunate for them. They're the ones out in the sun all day. I can go hide once in a while and get some shade and uh, AC. So. Clearly the boat really responded. I know you threw a bunch of combinations at it all week. Did you have this one in, in the back of your mind for this final, this combination? It's the first time we ran it all weekend, actually, uh, really? for whatever that's worth. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that or not, but uh, <laughs> it worked. Um, we had a bit of a learning curve there throughout the weekend. And swapping gearboxes, swapping motors, adjusting fuel, moving things around, and uh, propellers, the whole nine yards, we did everything. So not only did we end up doing well this weekend, hopefully we got a good run at next year. And uh, you, I would highly suggest you guys go take whatever you threw at the river in the final, go write that down, and uh, just make sure next year you remember to bring that one with you. You got it. It worked. Andrew, congratulations. You are our 2018 Hapo Columbia Cup champion. Got a nice ring to it. Hey, thank you. Sounds good. Thank you, Tri-Cities. Thank you, Andrew Tate. Guys, there he is, our winner. All right, we're hearing, Brad, yes. Brad about the, the blue flag with the yellow yes. stripe. Uh, and, and a review is going on about uh, possible lane incursion. It would not involve Andrew Tate, from what we've been told. Thank you. I'm going to go pass that along to Mr. Tate. Hey, Michael. Yeah. Interestingly enough, and this is more just, I guess you could say, the passion of the moment. Um, Tom Thompson's crew and Jimmy Shane got into, I, I guess you could say, an exchange of thoughts down here on the dock. Okay. And they've uh, moved it up to the cranes. Uh, Jimmy was talking about what he was seeing down there on the boat, out on the water. Not saying he cut anybody off, didn't say he cut Tom off, but it seemed like I said they were having a passionate conversation, so I wouldn't be too surprised if the number one is involved in that in some fashion. And, and